مشاهدينا الكرام اهلا وسهلا فيكم بحلقه جديده وحلقه مميزه من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الاعمال مثل ما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف رجلا مميز ومن زاويه رجال الاعمال الاكثر تميزا رحبوا معي في السبيشال بزنس مان مستر وان ومستر اشيش الدايركتورز لنايت اند لورد بداية جود افترنون بوس جود افترنون تو يو ثانك يو يس ان ذا فيرست نايس تو ميت يو اند ريلي سو هابي بيكوز ايم هير رايت ناو ويز يو اي وود لايك تو ميت يو مستر وان ان ذا فيرست اند ليت ذا فيورز از ويل نو وين يو كيم هير تو اي دي هاو يو ستارت يور اون بزنس So I mean uh, of course I was I was born and brought up over here uh, been here for most of my life but I had started my business here in 2010 mm-hmm. um that's when we formed Knights and Lords uh, mm-hmm. this is after I finished training as a bespoke tailor in Savile Row in London and uh, yes it's it's been close to 12 years now uh, once I turned uh, a, 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 and became a qualified bespoke tailor um I decided to start off here with my brother Ashish Mm-hmm. and uh, we were and still are the only sabro trained bespoke tailors in the entire region mm-hmm. yes yeah. that's good so mr ashish can you introduce yourself and tell us about the services what you provide to the market as a knights and lords right well pleasure pleasure being here on the show and uh, yes so i'm a co-partner and director in knights and lords along with mr pawan uh, we practice bespoke tailoring as done in Savile Row in London. Mm-hmm. Um, how is it different from how it used to be back in the day? So a lot of people didn't know what the differences were between bespoke tailoring and made to measure tailoring which was your regular sort of tailored mm-hmm. uh, garments. Uh, bespoke tailoring as per how it's practiced in London on Savile Row goes through a certain guideline mm-hmm. um, which we have practiced over close to a decade before we set up base in Dubai. Uh, UA it was interesting because uh, we a lot of people ask us that why did you decide to buy after being uh, trained in London mm-hmm. we felt that Dubai really had this energy at that time where it was it was wanting to grow mm-hmm. um make its mark in the region um you had obviously the likes of uh, global companies coming out of here being DP World Emirates the way it is now it is what the biggest airline you would say um arguably so it really was good to kind of start in a place where earlier there was not as much of a history with bespoke tailoring but there was a yearning there was a a want to really have some of the finest that is there out in the world mm-hmm. with uh tradition craftsmanship so i think that's that's probably one of the reasons why we decided UAE and Dubai as well to be in the base for lights and lights. Yes, that's good. Of course, uh, Dubai is always uh, the best uh, city in the world. Now, Mr. Pawan, uh, we will talk about the competition here in Dubai, how we make ourselves special and different from others. Of course, if we have a lot of Dubai, there is a lot of places like that, yeah? Yes, I mean, there is a lot of tailors and within tailoring, like Ashish mentioned, there is two species. There is bespoke and there is made to measure. So within tailoring there is two schools of tailoring which is uh, made to measure and bespoke and they're completely different from each other. So we practice bespoke tailoring A and B we practice bespoke tailoring as per the guidelines of the Savile Bespoke Association which is the birthplace of bespoke tailoring. So where anyone and everyone can make you um, a suit or a shirt that you'd like to wear from a fabric of your choice with all your specific details and 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 your choices of buttons and all made perfectly as per your measurements. The other thing that we are able to do that's different from from that is that we mention uh, and I personally mention all the time that you're supposed to dress not like who you are but who you want to be. So every single person has a vision in their mind of who they want to be 4 or 5 years from today. And our job is to get that out of your mind because we do everything handcrafted anything that you can imagine is possible. Our job is to get it out of your mind and craft that so you can wear that today and start living and believing and being that person today mm-hmm. and that is what helps you to be who you want to be 5 or 6 years from today yes. and that's what we personally specialize in uh, mr ashish now i will ask you about uh, anjalila foundation uh, can you tell us more about uh, this thing so uh it's very interesting so a couple of months back we actually came up with this idea which has been actually at the back of our mind for quite some time mm-hmm. um we came up with 
uh, a line of watches. These are mechanical watches mm -hmm. um, crafted with care. Uh, we named it for humanity and there's a reason behind it because where we have been successful in, in our art and our craft, uh, in our business, what we practice here, we thought that since the country has given us so much, it's our duty that we give back a little bit back to the community, back to humanity. Um, what we did was after we crafted this line of watches, we formalized uh, a tie up with Al Jalila Foundation, which uh, a lot of your viewers may be aware of as well, was founded by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Mm -hmm. It's part of one of his global initiatives that uh, takes care of uh, patients with critical illness, um, poverty, and a lot of beautiful, beautiful things that they do for humanity in this uh, in this region and the wider world. Mm -hmm. What we did was we specifically tied up with a particular program, which is called the Taluf program. Uh, Taluf in Arabic, it means harmony. So what this program does is it educates parents and teachers to educate uh, children of determination, um, which helps them to forego their disabilities and really shine. So really bring, uh, bring forth their, their capabilities and how they can succeed uh, in the future to their utmost potential. And the program that we have done, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So with this with this program, what we do is with the sale of every watch, fifteen percent of the proceeds go to Al Jalila Foundation towards this particular program, and it's just a, a little bit contributing back to the community, back to humanity. Uh, it's also to make us realize that the time to act for humanity is now. We need to act now, and for it to make a little bit of impact. And collectively, if all of us do our little bits, it will really fill up the ocean um, and give back to the community. So uh, all of the best for you, Mr. Ashish and uh, Mr. Juan as well. Thank you. Now, uh, what's your plan in the future, your vision as a businessman? I mean, we've gotten so much from this region right from the time when we started off uh, in 2010. Um, I feel and we also received recently the golden visa from the Ministry of Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm. um, I feel it is now our time to give back to the community and like Ashish mentioned um, for humanity mechanical watches uh, which is recently uh, a project that we have launched uh, in collaboration with Al Jalila Foundation. Our aim in the future is to do more and more of such things where we are able to complete the entire circle by giving back to the community and giving back to humanity. So definitely uh, from our side, um, I think our focus is doing more projects um, that is for humanity, for the betterment of humanity and for basically uh, understanding the fact that the only way we can move forward being professionals, being businessmen, being entrepreneurs is by holding hands with each other. If we are working towards the betterment of each other, then the entire world will move forward, whether there is a pandemic, whether there's COVID or not, whatever it may be, whatever the challenges we face, as long as we're holding hands and work towards the betterment of each other, there is no obstacle that we can't overcome. And this specific quality is something that the region and the leaders have taught us. So I think um, learning from them and working towards humanity is going to be our future goal. Yes. And Mr. Ashish, what's your plan in the future? As you mentioned earlier, what's your plan? So it's, 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 been, it's been quite a joyful ride so far. We have had success obviously going to uh, the region, to UAE, to Dubai as well. Uh, so we've enjoyed uh, a fair bit of success. But yes, we would like to see more and more youth as well um, coming and getting inspired by what we did back in the day um, and actually encourage entrepreneurship in the region because the region does have that ecosystem. Uh, you look at uh, from the economic departments to the free zones that has been set here. Mm -hmm. It's it's very easy and seamless to set up business out here. And it's 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 all owing to the leadership, the way they have channeled um, that sort of an energy out here. It's very easy to come up and do things. Um, I would also like to say that UAE, Dubai and Abu Dhabi as well, they can now not be called as cities of the future that will be successful. They are one of the major cities in the world right now. Yeah. 
Yes. You can you can take the name of Dubai Abu Dhabi in the same breath as New York London, um, sure. as one of the major cities yes. in the world, right? Now. Yes, of course. Thanks for your uh, answer, Mr. Ashish. Now, Mr. Pawan, uh, as experienced person here and as a businessman as well, what do you think of the safety and security here in uh, UAE in general and the lifestyle as well? So firstly, uh, of course, you know, uh, spending a lot of time in, in the UK and in London myself, uh, as I mentioned, I was trained as bespoke tailor over there in Savile in London. Um, the kind of quality of life that you get over here is not in par, but way beyond par uh, than most of the other places in the world. Mm -hmm. The quality of life and the safety and security you enjoy as a person and as a family is, is uh, definitely beyond par. And especially security is something you can't really put a price on. Security is, is something that's priceless. And this is a priceless facility that each and every resident of the UAE enjoys uh, from morning to night. That's one thing. Secondly, the ease of doing business over here is again uh, beyond par compared to any place else in the world. Um, over here, like Ashish mentioned, forming a license is very, very easy. With the new visa regulations, everything is very, very easy. You will qualify for either um, a green visa or a freelance visa or a trade visa or anything of that sort. Even if you're looking to do something over here, you get a six month visa just for looking for a job or looking to do something as far as entrepreneurship. And they help you. So they don't just make things easy, but they act like an incubator to make sure that the best of you is brought out by making the facilities seamless and at the same time, they offer you opportunities. Mm -hmm. So when you already are set up, opportunities come knocking on your door, yes. where, which makes things extremely easy and, and extremely good for you and puts you in, a, in the right position to become successful, not easily, but quickly as well. Of so course. if you're planning to do something and you're imagining your success to be within uh, the break even to be in the first two years, like every entrepreneur does, um, success in, within five years or so, you would practically half that. You have startups and businesses over here that become successful within the first two to three years uh, and reach that goal, which the five-year goal reaches within three years. And that's because they help you that much just to make things more easy, seamless, give you facilities and give you opportunities at the same time. Yes, thank yes. you for your opinion, Mr. Uh, one also from ABC Arabia TV, we will thank our leadership and the business of UAE especially Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed, the president of UAE, all of the Sheikh as well. We will thank you to accept us here in your special uh, location and the special place. Inshallah, always we'll see you in the top and in the high level. We deserve that. Before we end our program, just want to take from your side uh, where we are now in Dubai. So we are in Fairmont the Palm, which is where we have uh, our setup uh, to see people uh, who would like to see us for any kind of, uh, any kind of services uh, that they require from us. Uh, we also have uh, a shop uh, next to Bentley and Sheikh Zayed Road, mm -hmm. which is where you can uh, find us as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can also visit our website, which is www.knightsandlords.ae. Yes, of course. It and and well. www.forhumanity.ae, uh, which is our uh, For Humanity Watches. And uh, you can also uh, find us on Instagram, mm -hmm. which is at knightsandlords or at uh, forhumanity.ae. Yes, that's good. So, my dear viewers, all of the uh, contacts number and the website, the emails will be down on our screen with the social media as well. Thank you for your time, Mr. Ashish, Mr. Opwan. Thank, Thank you. It's so been much. a pleasure. Thank you so much. Mushahidin al kiram ila huna nakhtam halqatna li hadal usboa. Tabiru na Friday and Saturday on ABC Arabia TV and social media. Dumtum bi khair wa fi amanillah.